Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a hotel booking website using Wix. The reason why I recommend using Wix is because you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything to sign up. All you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com and from there you can sign up using your email address. After you have signed up you'll be led to this page. And from here, all I want you to do is simply type in hotel. Then you are going to select hotel and tap on next. After tapping on next, from here you can enter your website name. So I'll simply name this hotel relax just for example. Then tap on next. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And these are the different apps that you can add to your new hotel booking website. So obviously the first one we're going to be adding is the booking app and also if you would like to add an Instagram feed. So if you want to build your social platform, you can also do that. So you could add Instagram and you can also see other options you can add. So if you want to sell a few products, you can also select online store. If you want to sell any farm, if you want to create a farm or anything like that, you would select any one of these. But we are only going to be selecting booking for this example. Then I'll tap on next. After you have done that from here, you're going to tap right where you see begin with a template. And by the way, you could tap on go to dashboard, but I'll be showing you how to edit that in a bit. The first thing we're going to do is tap on begin with a template. And from here you can see numerous hotel websites or templates that you can choose from. And we are going to be selecting this one which is the best match. So we'll simply tap on edit. But if you want to view it first you could tap on view. And then you'll see an example of how it looks right here. So you can simply scroll down and you can view it right there. But we'll be using this one. So all I'll be doing is tap on edit this site. In the top right hand corner after you have done that you can see wix is preparing your template in the background so you are just going to give it a few seconds while the editor lines up everything and after that i'll show you how to edit your new hotel booking website okay once it is loaded up you'll be redirected to this page and i want you to pay attention to the left hand menu options the first thing you're going to see is add elements and by tapping on add elements you will be able to add anything you want to your website. So let's say you want to add text you could simply tap on text then from there you can select the text style or the text box that you would like to use. Also you can add images and you can add buttons you can add forms or you could add video or music if you want. Okay, now that I've shown you what Elements is, another thing that you'll need to set up on your new website is the third icon, the Pages and Menu. As you can see right here, these are the pages that are currently on our website. So we need to add a booking page. And to do that, all you have to do is go down to the bottom of the menu and tap on Add Page. After you have done that, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option select booking then you'll tap on add wix booking after you have tapped on add wix booking you can see the editor right here is working to add the booking to our new website so you'll simply give it a few seconds meanwhile the booking page is being created okay you can see that the booking page has now been created if i should tap on booking you can see the page right here so all you'll need to do now is make any editing changes that you want. By simply scrolling down, you can see how it looks right here. So you can see service title 1, service title 2. So if you would like to change the pick or so on for any section, all you have to do is tap on it. Then you will see the option manage services. You could tap on that. After you have tapped on manage services, you'll be redirected to this page. And you are going to be redirected to this page right here. All you'll need to do now is scroll down and as you can see right here, you can add the type of service that you would like to offer. 
So all you'll have to do, you could tap on Start from Scratch. After tapping on Start from Scratch, you will now be able to set up your booking services. So you can see service type, you can select the service type, so you can tap right there and you could select the service type. More than likely, it will be appointment. Then you are going to scroll down and then you can add the name and you can also add the tagline and if you want, you can add an image right here also. Then you can add the duration and the buffer period and you can also set up the pricing plan and the payment plan. Then you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once you are finished, you can also add the hotel address, which is very important. So you are going to be adding the hotel address right there. After you are finished doing all of this, you'll simply tap on save. So you'll be able to set up your services that you'll be offering on your hotel. Another thing that I want you to do after you're finished, as I sh I've shown you earlier, you can edit every section of your Wix website. So let's say, for example, you like to make any changes in the header section. All you have to do is hover over the particular section that you like to edit. Then you could tap on quick edit. And from there, you'll see on the right hand corner right here, you can change the title, you can change the color, and you can also change the background image or logo if you want. So that is how to set up the front end of your new website. Now I'll be showing you how to add payment method and so on. All you have to do is go over to the top left hand corner. Then from there, all you'll need to do now is right where you see site. You're going to hover over that. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on my dashboard. Once in your dashboard, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you can scroll down and then you'll see property management. You can hover over that and you'll be able to organize reservations and you can also organize your reservation calendar as you can see right here. And you can also set up guest relations as you can see there. There are numerous things that you can personalize with the Wix platform and it's quite easy to do. And you can also organize your booking calendar. And if in the future you'd like to create a gift card or so on, let's say for special seasons like Christmas or so on, you can do that. All you'll need to do is select gift card and from there you'll be able to create a gift card to offer to your customers or potential customers. Now that you have done all of that, all you'll need to do is scroll down to right where you see billing and payments. You are going to hover over that and you are going to select payments. Once you have selected payments, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you'll be able to add payment methods. So you are going to tap on manage payment methods. Once you have tapped on manage payment methods, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you'll be able to add PayPal or if you would like to accept credit and debit card, Using CXP, you could do that. Or if you want to add other payment options, all you have to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner and tap on see more payment options. And then from there, you'll see numerous payment options that you can use. And by the way, it all depends on where you're located in the world. So at the moment, I'm currently in Jamaica. So these are the payment options that are available. But if you are in the United States or Canada or the United Kingdom, the payment options that may be offered more than likely will be different. After you have added the payment options and you have also set up your website, all you'll need to do is tap on home in the top left hand corner. If you want a free domain name, once you are back on the dashboard, all you'll have to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on design site. After you have tapped on design site, you'll be redirected to the editor page. And once on the editor page, all you'll have to do is go over to the top right hand corner again. Once on this page, all you'll have to do now is simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner. And after tapping on publish, 
from here you will be able to add your domain name you can see it right here your site is published and live now so if I would like to view the site all I would have to do is tap on view site and you can see my new hotel booking site right here hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe